Hey YouTube, I'm Tam here. So confession time. I was this close to buying a brand new 2023 Ram TRX Lunar Edition instead of getting my 2023 Lexus LX600 F Sport here. I was this close. I'm not kidding. I had had a couple options lined up. The nearest one to me was in Texas, in Arlington, Texas, that I was going to get at MSRP. MSRP on that is $108,000 and some change. And I know kidding was so close to pulling the trigger on it, but I ended up getting this instead. I ended up getting the, the good old Lexus here and it is a very, very different beast, a very different animal, of course. Um, Japanese built, one being the, one being uh, yeah, FCA product, which does not have the best reputation, of course, whereas this here is a Japanese product with a much better reputation, so. I don't know. I, I feel great about my decision, but I do often, admittedly, I do often wonder if I made the best decision given my typical vehicle ownership history. So that's the important note to make here. I generally keep a vehicle for a very short duration. You guys know that. There's no, no shock to you guys watching the channel here, but I don't know. I just... This is, I, I can, I, I have great peace of mind in this. I know it's going to continue to start up. It's going to have a great, you know, a great reliability rating, great resale. They always have a great resale on them. The Ram TRX was a little bit more of a one-off. It was going to be kind of a roll of the dice to me. I, I had one Ram before. It was a diesel, a yeah, Cummins diesel, and, and I did not love it. But granted, that is a very different beast compared to the TRX. I, I've owned a few Ford Raptors before, and I've always really enjoyed them. So because of that, I do think I would have enjoyed the TRX. It would have been great to experience that supercharged V8. Uh, yeah, honestly, I've never even driven one. I've never even driven the supercharged V8, the 6.2 liter supercharged V8, and I'm sure it'd just be a total kick in the pants and a blast to drive. So given the fact that I generally own a vehicle for several months rather than several years, should I have just pulled the trigger and tried to get the lunar, uh, the the lunar edition TRX? Right, they're about the same price. This is one hundred eleven thousand dollars and some change, and then that Ram TRX is one hundred eight thousand some change. They're neck and neck. But I do wonder, you know, over that small course of ownership, which one would give me more headache? Which one would would I enjoy more? Which one would retain the best value over that short ownership? You know, do you think I'll lose more value? When I come, when I sell this, whenever that time comes, <laughs> in the next few hours, or uh, you know, what I have lost more money on that Ram TRX. I'd be curious to know your thoughts on that. Which one do you think would hold value better you know, over a short duration? I think we both can confidently agree that I don't want to say confidently, but I think typically speaking, we can say with full confidence that the LX here, the Land Cruiser in general, tends to hold value very well because they're built to last. They're built to last 20 plus years with minimal issue or minimal maintenance, right? Very few manufacturers go into building a vehicle with that mindset, but Toyota and Lexus, they do. Uh, so in 20 years, this will have great resale, but people like me, I will never own a vehicle for 20, 20 plus years, very unlikely. Um, that Ram TRX, on the other hand, being that it is a Fiat Chrysler Automotive Group, the FCA product, they generally have pretty poor reliability ratings over time, right? They tend to fall apart. And because of that, I do think the value of that TRX would have shot down over time. The only thing kind of the sliver of hope for that TRX to keep it as a high value vehicle for several years is the fact that they're likely still answers. They're going to likely do away with that 6.2 liter supercharged V8 that will likely become a relic here in the very, very near future. In fact, 2024, they're offering the, the quote unquote final edition, the final edition TRX. You know, they're starting to hit the lots now. 120,000 plus dollars. Like, it's just insane how much they cost, right? Thankfully, you know, most dealers are not charging markups on them, thankfully, because uh, they already are at an astronomical price point. Uh, and, and interest rates are garbage right now. So, I mean, with those two factors involved, they are not flying off the shelves. Uh, because of that, the price points are remaining at MSRP or even a little bit better, I'm seeing. So, the fact that they are doing away with that supercharged V8, that will become perhaps a very desirable uh, engine, right? I mean, it'll be a desirable vehicle 
10, 15 years down the road when that is no longer, it's the forbidden fruit. It's no longer an option. And we all Americans are the worst when it comes to forbidden fruit <laughs> and paying extreme premiums on vehicles that they can't get. We see it with the MK4, the, the, the previous 1990s Toyota Supra. We see it with that. We see it with the Acura NSX of the past, uh, the GTRs, R33, R34s, blah, blah, blah. We see it and we're so bad with it. We spend so much money on things that we can't have or couldn't get. Uh, and that could very well be the case for the Ram TRX. So it was like a long-winded way to provide that point, but let me know if you agree on that. But overall, super pleased with my purchase here, uh, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't often think about the what if. What if I had gotten the TRX? What would that have looked like? What would that experience have been like? So, Really just want to pose that to you. Let me know your honest thoughts, guys. Do you think I should have gotten pulled the trigger and gotten the TRX? Or was it the best move to stick with the Lexus LX600 here? Appreciate you watching as always. Till next time.